So, Andrea Shaw, you're here for MMA Plus at the Bellator 158 press conference. And it's great to be joined now by the man with the belt, Liam McGarry, the light heavyweight champion of Bellator MMA. How are you feeling as well? Feeling awesome, man. A little tired from all the traveling, but it's all right. This is part of the game. You know, unfortunately, you know, as we, you, know, you mentioned during the press conference, Liam McGarry will not be able to participate July 16th at the O2 Arena. You know, it's gutting for you, but obviously that injury is uh, kind of forcing you away from the card. You know, just want to talk about your progression as well. Have we got a time frame of when you can be back? Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, I got like, the, I had the surgery straight after the fight, so it's been a lot, it's six yeah. months. So now it's like starting back for the tra for the training. I think another, I don't want to push anything, you know. And and, and this fight, it's such a shame, it's coming around at this time, you know. And, and I kind of, and I'm missing it, man. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe a couple more months after this, uh, there's the New York thing kicking off. So yeah. hopefully, I'm going to steamroll that with a flag and then uh, and try and get on that card. Yeah, I want to talk to you about New York as well. Obviously, I asked Scott Coker, how good is it to have a champion who you can promote in two different markets? Fantastic, of course, that New York uh, has now legalized mixed martial arts yes. and we can see some big events there. Barclays Arena, um, Madison Square Garden as well. There's so many options out there. But for you, how does it feel as well, knowing that you fit into two different markets? Um, I couldn't be happier, you know. It's, uh, I have my home over here and I have my home in New York. You know, I have my girlfriend over in New York and I have my family over here. So it's... I'm, I'm lucky, you know. I've always been one of those ones where I'll call home wherever I lay my head, you know. I travelled around a lot. I've, I've always lived out my bags. But now it's nice to have two, two countries where it's like, man, everybody shows me love. Everybody makes me feel welcome. So I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it, man. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it, yeah. Light heavyweight division is really interesting at the minute. You've got a lot of guys kind of, you know, bobbing about. Linton Vassell, of course, who will feature on this card, a man that you potentially will face in the future. Uh, you know, Rampage Jackson is back. He's on that dynamite card against Ishii. Then you've got King Mo, Phil Davis. How, how are you looking at it at the minute? Because it's potentially three, four, five fights in a row where it could be real tough tests for you. Hey, man, I'm, I'm up for the test, right? I don't, I don't mind. I'll fight them all one after another, line them up. Um, the Linton Vassell thing... No disrespect to the guy, I like Linton, you know, but uh, yes, he said it himself. He, he does need a couple more fights just to, to fight. It's a shame the timing didn't work yeah. out right with this one and my injury, but yeah, everything happens yeah. for a reason, you know. Um, as for the King Mo and, and the Phil Davies fight, yes, I'm going to be keeping a very, very close eye on that. Phil Davies is Phil Davies is ranked number four in the world. Uh, I'm climbing up there, right? He's come from the UFC, the the one we don't mention. Uh, he's come from over there and he's come into this this, this organisation. This is mine. I work for it. I put in my, my time and I put in my effort and I put in all the years of abuse and shit. So it's like, you know what? Now the time paying off. And if he thinks he's going to come in here and say that little cocky thing, Mr. Wonderful, man, no, it ain't going to happen. You know, it, I'm going to put down the proper old school English beat down on him. And uh, Paul Daly's going to do exactly the same to that crotch check. And whatever his name is, and exactly that's, that's what we do, man. That's how we that's how we roll. I want to ask you because you really built your way up to the Bellator ranks. You you fought and you took all these fights on the undercard. You got promoted to the main card. Then you got your title fight. Phil Davies is a man in that other promotion, the UFC. He you know we fought over there. He beat some big names. Came over and straight away they threw him in the tournament. You know he won. He took that and now he's going to be fighting Mo in and an unofficial title eliminator. It, I'm, I'm kind of happy that that fight's going down because, let, I mean, I'm not disrespecting any of the guys who was in that tournament, yeah. but Francis Carmont had been sat there for five hours, and he, I, after you've had a, he had a war mm -hmm. as well, so it's not as though you want to get ready back in there, you've got to fight. You don't want to say no, you don't want to fight, but Jesus, your body's like, Jesus, man, alarm bells going off. So I am glad that this King Mo fight and Phil Davis, because I want to see who, if he actually is worthy of a title yeah. shot. You know, you come in and run in your mouth, I'm this and that, I'm ranked number four in England or in the world. Sound. Fucking prove it, mate. You know what? And I will be standing there with my fists up, ready to fucking go at you. Since the Ortiz fight, absolutely big, big occasion for you on, on such a grand stage and to beat a man who has been a pioneer of mixed martial arts. Since then, you, you know, you're the champion now, you defended your belt. Have you seen any kind of differences or more people talking about Liam McGarry now, especially states? Yeah, there's, there's been a few been mentioned, but I mean, the, the sad thing is about this injury it was literally straight after the Tito fight. So from going 100 mile an hour, 120 mile an hour training, working out all the time, fight camp to fighting, and then the very next day lying on a hospital bed, it's, it's disheartening, you know, and it's like, it's hard to get around and uh, 
it was I did a bit of traveling you know it was it was just one of them things and it was yeah I, they, I do believe they would mention it but now I'm back now I'm I've had time for my head to catch up with what everything else was going on they're going to hear a lot more about Liam McGuire yeah. yeah. that time away when you know you were really after the injury and you had to look at things in you know an optimistic way and seeing how everything has progressed for you is the path clear do you know what you have to do to Make yourself like, as we see, a Kimbo Slice out of 5,000. We know how big that fight was. Yeah. Can Liam McGarry do the same and be a, a huge star for Bellator MMA? That's exactly what I plan on doing. You know, as I say, the six months of lying there, getting, letting everything settle in. Someone asked me was like, about the title when I was fighting for the title. They were like, how do you feel about all this coming so quickly? And it's like, I don't know. I didn't really think about it, you know. I just, my, my dad's always told me, head down, ass up, and just carry on working, right? Just work, work, work. And that's all I've done. And then I kind of looked up, being injured, and I looked at my wall and I was like, hey, babe, I've got a belt on the wall. I've won the world title. Did you realise? And she's like, don't you remember? No, no. Yeah. I didn't. Just, I just carried on doing it. To me, it was a fight. It was another fight. Yeah. But now I've had to sit there and I've, I'm able to catch up and be like, OK, I'm seeing these people doing this. Yeah. I'm seeing that people do that. These guys are brilliant. 3.4 3. million viewers, you know. There's something I have to, I have to do and, 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 and I will be doing it. And it's, I'll make that change that's needed to be changed. Last question. Scott kind of alluded to it, but London could become a real main stable of the Bellator yearly, you know, plan for them. For you, Bellator in London, you know, 2.0 next year. Would you like to be headlining that card? Do you think you can headline that card? Yes, I think I can headline it, and yes, I want to be on that card. If it, it really makes sense having London Bellator over here in London, because look at the talent of fighters we have. You know, all of these dudes are in it from England, and we've got more f talent as well. You know, hopefully, with this card, it's going to open up the doors to all these other fighters that are just sitting there and they're trying. Why can't I get my break? Why can't I get my break? That motherfucker's had this one. Why can't I do this? You know, I know them frustrations, man. They, I was there myself, and it's it's like banging your head against a brick wall. But now that they're here, now that we've brought them here, we're going to try and help as as many people as we possibly can to to to, to bring them into this show. You know. We, we need people to be following on from us after us, you know. There needs to be another Englishman with, with this after I've retired. <laughs> the first man to have the belt. Has that sank in yet, the first guy? The major British guy to hold a major MMA world championship. Is it sunk in? Yes, now, now it's all sunk in. And again, man, it's like, okay, so I landed in London last week, yeah. doing this UK tour, landing in London, and someone was actually looking at me, and they were like, are you? And I was like, yeah, my belt's in the bag then. All my luggage walking along here. <laughs> But yeah, so it's nice to even get recognised when I land in England, you know, it's a place, uh, it's my home, but I have been in America for four years, you know, and it's like, I need to come and see my friends, I need to come and see my family, and as soon as I step off the plane, it gets recognised, mate, it's, it's a good feeling, man, it's a very good feeling, yeah. Well, I really genuinely do appreciate your time, and you, we cannot wait to see you back in the cage and representing Team UK once again. Thank you, man, I can't wait to get in there myself. Awesome, thank Thanks. you very much, man. Thanks.